Hi, I'm Tyler for TK24 Sports. Now, on today's game day hype show, we're looking at, of course, a Manchester Derby, United versus City, Solskjaer versus Pep, Ronaldo versus everyone against City. That's no joke right there. But if you're new to the show, there's a reason why you need to like, subscribe, turn that notification on, because shows like this, game day hype show, on a Friday doesn't come around too often. And when it does come around, we bring you the blockbusters, we give you the information, we give you the head-to-head, -head, the previous results, as well as the form guide. So all that and more will come up with a show. It pops up as the information goes in. If you're used to our show, then you know how the format goes. So that's why you like, subscribe, turn that notification, because it's so important for us to grow. We cannot grow without you. So please, can you do that? Find it in your heart. Very much appreciated. So let's just kick the show off anyway. Solskjaer versus Pep. What do we know about this game? Well, we know the head-to-head -head is not really even over the period of time. Of course, United have been the more victorious. But that being said, Pep has a point to prove after getting slapped up at home by Palace. So this is their away game. United have won against Spurs. As we know, that got Nuno the sack and then brought in Conte. Well, that's another show for another day. But what I can say is this. Both teams need to win. A draw is not going to be enough. Should United win, they go into 20 points, catching up Manchester City. City are losing grip with Chelsea speeding off, Liverpool speeding off. If City lose this game, well, we're not talking about Pep leaving. We start questioning what's going on at City. Should have went out all out and bought Kane from Spurs when they had the chance. With United, they only have Ronaldo who bails them out week after week, but that's what he's there to do. That's why he paid the big bucks. That's what, you know, the merchandise, and that's why he does his full, his celebration. What I'm about to say formation for, I don't know. But with City, they do have different Arsenals in their, in their pocket, don't they? They have, well, who do they really have? About to big them up, and I'm thinking to myself, who they really have that's gonna be a real match winner. Grealish is not a match winner. Jesus is not a match winner. Mahrez is not a match winner. Huh. Bernardo, Sal Bernardo, <laughs> Bernardo uh, Silva? No. You've got Torres? No. So they have, they have a component of match winners in one team, where United only have one, City have four, five or six who can win the game at any given time. But that, what, that's what makes City special. United, if you let's mark Ronaldo at the game, they could bring in Cavani if they play the two up front. And I think United should play the two up front, but I think Solskjaer is going to be more reserved in this game. I think he's just going to say, you know what, this is what we're going to need. We'll go with our trusted two in the midfield, McTominay and Fred. And then we're going to have Fernandez in front of them. Then they'll go with, I'll say, Rashford on the left, Greenwood on the right, and then Ronaldo through the middle and their trust line in the back four. With City, it's so hard. They can go anywhere they want to, but I think they will go with Grealish, Foden, and Mahrez, and Sterling will be on the bench with De Bruyne. Hmm, who will match? Who will go up with De Bruyne? This is a tough one because they can, they can go anywhere. They can maybe put Bernardo there where that could be a bit of a risk. Or unless they put Grealish in the midfield with De Bruyne and then bring in Fernandinho, which will then shore up the midfield a bit more. Then go with actually put Sterling on the left, Marvis on the right, and then folding through the middle. That could be the way they could actually go. Because then they want to have an out-and-out -out striker, but they have people going in the pockets here, there, everywhere. What do you guys think about that to, for a start for City? Give me your formations down in the comments below. Get interactive, people. Get interactive. You're watching the show. Be interactive. Let me know what your thoughts are. And if you're watching on Facebook, still give me your formations. What both teams are going to be, how the teams are going to play, and then who's going to be the outright winner. But let's get back to the game. This game is important for both. You know, it's only one, one city we're talking about here in Manchester, and they still say City actually own Manchester because majority of Manchester United fans are down in London or down in the South. We're about to see anyway. We're about to see who is going to win. We're going to see are the United players going to stand up for Solskjaer and mount a title challenge or at least a top four challenge. Because like I said, the only three points of the top four, even though West Ham occupy that with the 20 points. The so United, Arsenal are both on 17 points and then you've got the likes of Spurs on 15 and so forth. So that's why it's equally important that both teams win. Both teams cannot draw this game because it will not benefit them. If Arsenal beat Watford on Sunday, Arsenal go to 20 points. If United draw, they're only on 18. And what happens with Spurs with Conte after that? Whoa, who knows? Who really knows? So that's why United need to win. That's why City need to win. But it's going to end up being a draw, more than likely. More than likely, unless City just come up with a game plan and slap up Solskjaer 5-0. 
and it could be possible Liverpool's done it and this is what we're going to see is have United players learned from this have they actually learned to go and win big games beating Tottenham away from home was not a big win it was a convenient win because look what they've done during the midweek at Atlanta just about got the draw with Ronaldo again but that's what a guy does so I want to see what Solskjaer can do I want to see what Pep can do can Pep bounce back can Solskjaer continue and win two games on the bounce Remember, United have only won one in the last five games in the Premier League. One in five. The last time they kept a clean sheet was when Alex Ferguson was in charge. That's a joke. That was a joke. But you get my point. But anyway, if you're new to the show, like, subscribe, turn that notification on so you don't miss Game Day Hype Show. Have we hyped it up enough? You're still watching, like, subscribe, turn that notification on. You're watching on Facebook, like the page, comment, share, do your part. Thank you very much. I'm Ty Knight for TK24 Sports.